So in this video today, I'm gonna to give you a few tips on how to make passive income online. Uh, these are a few ways in which I've done it and hopefully you'll be able to get a few ideas that might work well for you and maybe you'll be able to have these passive income sources uh, in the next year or two. So let's get started and we'll jump in with a few ways in which you can make passive income. So the first way in which I think you could make passive income is through the Amazon Associates program. And this is something that I've been able to uh, do for the last five or six years and it's been really, really profitable for me. The reason why I really like the Amazon Associates program is that it allows pretty much anyone uh, to promote pretty much anything. So as you guys probably know, Amazon is one of the largest online retailers, probably the largest online retailer in the world, and they sell pretty much anything. So you know, you can buy, you know, you could buy a coffee mug, or you could buy an iPhone, or you could buy a camera remote. And if you don't know what the Amazon Associates program is, it's essentially a way in which you can be an affiliate for Amazon. So let's say uh, you wanted to uh, you know, review a camera. This is something that I've done on my photography channel for the last five years. If I review a camera and then I link people to Amazon, so say, you know, if you want to buy this camera, you can buy it at Amazon. Uh, essentially, Amazon will pay me a commission if they end up buying that camera through Amazon. So for cameras, it's going to be around about 4% of that, the total payment. For microphones, it's 7%. For TVs, it's about 2%. Now that might not, might not sound like a lot, but if the camera costs a thousand dollars at four percent i'm gonna get forty dollars for everyone who buys that camera so the great thing about amazon and their associate program though and this is what a lot of people don't really know with this program is that once those people have come to your website or come to the amazon associates program from your website or your youtube video whatever they buy in the next 24 hours you get a commission on it so it's not just if they click on that link to the camera and they only buy that camera that you're going to get a commission but no, if they click on that link, whatever they buy in the next 24 hours, you can get a commission on it. So let's say that they buy a lens for that camera, which might cost $500. You're gonna get a commission on that. Let's say that they need to buy an SD card. You're gonna get a commission on that. Let's say that they buy a pair of shoes in the next 24 hours. You get that commission as well. So whatever you bring uh, to the Amazon Associates program, you're going to get a commission on that. And it really does vary uh, in terms of the commission rate. So like I said before, it's 4% for cameras, 7% for musical instruments like microphones and guitars and things like that. Roughly, you're going to be getting anywhere from 4 to 8% generally. You can also get bounties. So again, you know, Amazon also own like Audible and Twitch. So for example, if someone clicks on your link with the camera, uh, the, the camera review that you did, uh, you will also get a commission on people signing up for Audible. So for everyone who signs up for Audible, it's around about three to five dollars for everyone who signs up for just the free trial. So they don't even have to put their credit card details in. You still get that commission. Uh, if they sign up for Amazon Prime, you get a commission on that. So the reason why I think this is really good for passive income is because you can make a video and I've actually done this. I'll show you some uh, videos here. You know, I made videos on, you know, tutorials on cameras from 2015, 2016, and these are still bringing a lot of people, thousands of people, uh, almost thousands of people daily to Amazon. And those people are buying those cameras still and buying all those other things in that 24 hour period. And I'm still making a commission on that. So uh, again, the great, thing about this is you do a little bit of work you know a video might have made me uh, might have taken me 10 minutes to do 20 minutes to do uh, on those tutorials or the reviews or the comparison videos and every day uh, since I've been able to make a good amount of passive income so and you can see here I was able to make you know over ten thousand dollars a month and I've been able to do this consistently through all of these old videos it's not like I'm putting up videos every day on that channel in fact I don't put many videos up on it at all but the videos from 2016, 2015, 2017 consistently provide me passive income through the Amazon Associates program. So the next thing is to sell an online course. And the best place to do this is probably teachable.com. They're the biggest uh, place to uh, create your course and to host it. And essentially with Teachable, you can create a little website. Uh, it actually works really well and you can have a sales page, you can have thank you page, you can have upsells. And essentially, you can also host your course as well on there. So people can buy the course and then watch it on there. So how is a course a passive income source? Well, essentially, it's similar to how it would work with the Amazon uh, program in that you do a decent amount of work up front. So you might sit down for two hours and record a course on how to take better photos or how to make passive income online or how to do your nails or your hair or do crafts. Uh, you would spend a little bit of time, you know, making maybe 10 videos or 20 videos on that course. 
you upload it to teachable.com and, and then people will buy your course. So, you know, they, you might sell your course for $50. You might sell your course for $100. You might sell your course for $1,000. And that might sound like a lot of money, but lots of people are selling their courses for that much money because you're giving a really good way of people to learn, a very concise way. And what's great about this is, like I said before, the all the heavy work is done at the start because you're not going to be having to show up every week for people because people are going to be downloading your course and they might download it a, a, um, a year later uh, and you're still getting paid every time. So if you can uh, figure out a way in order to get like evergreen people coming to your course, so that might be through YouTube videos, it might be through ads, uh, you can get people to sign up for your course a year later, two years later, maybe every single day. And imagine if you were uh, having your course, which you made for two hours on one day in uh, 2016, and every day someone bought your course, uh, you can make a great amount of passive income through this. One person who I think has done a really good job with this is a guy called Kino Body. His name's Gregor Gallagher, and he does kind of fitness videos. I know he made his course back in you know 2016, 2017. Uh, he's got like a Greek god body program or something like that, and uh, you know a superhero body building program. I don't really know, but. I do know that he's done a fantastic job on these older videos, which he put a lot of work into at the start. You know, it might've taken him a week to make this course. But essentially, he just keeps on promoting that through his YouTube videos. He says, you know, go and check out my, you know, my Kino Body courses. All of, of, of that work was done at the very start and people every day will be, you know, signing up for his $60 course. And every day he's gonna be getting, you know, maybe 10 people signing up for his course, $600 a day passive income because it's already, the work's already been done. Another really good way of making passive income is through a YouTube channel. And again, you know, you might say, okay, Chris, isn't that, you know, uh, earned income? Isn't that actually doing, you know, a lot of different work? Well, yeah, it might be work upfront. But again, like I said before, I want to come back to my photography channel where I was originally talking about, you know, I made these videos uh, back in 2015, 2016, 2017. If you look at my stats here, you can see a lot of those videos still get viewed today. So, you know, a thousand people might watch that video from 2016 or 17, maybe 500 people might watch the video from 2018. And essentially what that's gonna do is generate me ad income uh, for those old videos. Now, the way that I do things on my channel is a little bit different to other channels. So a lot of channels really rely heavily on their subscribers. What I generally rely on is search, coming up in search results. So let's say that if you've got a thousand subscribers and you don't make a video that's gonna be searchable, uh, people will watch that very first video, but then they're not gonna be able to find that video any uh, time later. What I do is I make my videos highly searchable with SEO and things like that. So let's say, for example, if someone searches for a Canon 70D tutorial, mine's gonna be there and people are gonna find me or a Canon 80D tutorial. If you type in Canon 80D on Google or on YouTube, uh, tutorial, you're going to come up with my video. So what's great about that is that people will be using that video for years to come. I get that kind of constant stream of traffic. You know, it might not be a million people coming to that in a day, but it might be 100 people every day for the next year. So I'm going to be making money through the ads on that. And I'm also going to be making money through the affiliate program, which I talked about before. So YouTube channel is great, but you really want to make evergreen content that people are going to be searching for for a long time in the, into the future. Another really good way of making passive income is through selling digital downloads. So this has got to be probably the easiest way uh, in order to make passive income because if you have a digital download and the great example of this is selling Lightroom presets, which are essentially kind of like filters for your photos. All you need to do is create a Lightroom filter or a preset. It might take you five minutes to adjust, you know, the contrast and the saturation and a few of the different colors. You create a pack, so maybe it's gonna be a pack for, you know, travel photos or for, uh, you know, for springtime photos. And you can sell that for $30. Uh, it costs you nothing. Uh, and all you need to do is host it on maybe something like Teachable or, um, uh, or uh, selfie.com which is another place in which you can sell uh, digital products and people will just buy that every day, hopefully if you can promote it well enough and 
again, it's only taking you five minutes to do a whole long, long time ago. You know, someone who do, does this really well is Peter McKinnon. He, uh, you know, he'll sell his preset packs and I can guarantee you, you know, hundreds of people every day will be buying them. He might have spent, you know, a few hours editing them at the start, but the great thing is it's all profit and it's a great way to make passive income. And I've got one other one for you, which is probably not super passive, but it is a good idea if you just, you've stuck around this long. Uh, it's to start a membership website. And what's great about this is that you're going to be having recurring income uh, pretty much guaranteed. So I know a couple of guys who have, uh, you know, financial uh, Facebook websites or Facebook groups essentially, and they just charge people, you know, $35, $50 a month to be in that group so they can get the information. Uh, and then people will constantly want to stay into that group so they can find out all of this information. Now, let's say $35 isn't a whole lot of money, but if you've got 300 people in that group, 300 times 35 is $10,500. Uh, and if you can get $10,500 recurring, it's a great way to do it. Now, like I said before, this one's probably the least passive, but I did want to include it because I think it's a really good way of making a good amount of money through uh, kind of a group, uh, but it is, isn't is obviously going to be super passive because you might want to be uh, putting in a lot of information. Now, if you made all of the information beforehand and you were able to drip kind of information, videos, uh, different documents and stuff into that group on a kind of a regular basis, that's a great way of making it passive. But again, it's all of these different ways in which you've got all of these income streams coming in. Let's say you've got, you know, $500 a month from the YouTube channel, from the ads, and then you've got $1,000 a month coming from the affiliate program through Amazon. Then your digital downloads are coming in and they're bringing in, you know, $1,500 a month through people downloading them. Uh, it's a great way in which you can make all of these different ways of uh, income streams, which you did a lot of work at the start and then they keep on coming in and it really does come down to creating that evergreen content that people are always going to be searching for, which I might make a little bit more information on and a few more videos on later on. So there you go. There were a few passive income ideas, which hopefully one will click in your head and one will work for you. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe because I make lots of content on passive income, different income streams and how to make money online. And hopefully you'll, you guys will enjoy it. That's it for me today and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.